What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today, well, today you can read. <laughs> today we're going to talk about my top three fountain pen and ink pairings for the fall of 2022. Uh, these are the three pens that I pretty much have constantly inked up in my rotation. Uh, and to be fair, when I say fall, even though it just began, I've been living the fall life for like a month already. <laughs> So, spoiler to this one here, um, I will say I don't typically do ink ones, ink videos very often because it doesn't show perfectly on the camera. This is showing up much more yellow uh, on the camera. In real life, it's a little bit darker, a little bit browner. Um, it is definitely on the cooler side of brown, but certainly not this yellow. And it is KWZ Ink Honey. This is the original formula. As far as I'm aware, there is new formulas now. The color, I believe, stays the same, uh, but they've gotten rid of some of the scent, I think. Uh, so this is the older one. I'm about half, a little, almost halfway down the bottle. Uh, it's definitely seen some love. <laughs> and I pair that. with the Benu Euphoria Bourbon Fountain Pen. I quite like this a lot. Why won't this focus? <laughs> All right. I like this material quite a bit. Quite a bit. So, uh, basically, here, I'll even show you the inside here. I guess I'm fairly, I'm fairly far through the ink now. Um, this is a fine nib on this pen here. So we have the I absolutely love these two. I love them very, very much. Um, the pen and ink, uh, by the way, all three pens that I talk about today, um, I'm just gonna cap that. All three pens that I talk about today, I have full, like, full reviews of if you wanna see details. Um, but high level of this pen, uh, super, super smooth. I love the way that it fits in my hand. Uh, I actually love the material um, and it just feels fantastic while writing. It is a perfectly tuned nib, nice and wet, and while it is scratchy on the reverse writing, you definitely can. Absolutely adore it. Perfect for fall. Uh, this is the cooler of the three inks that I have uh, as far as like visual aesthetic goes. And we're just going to do a little slide here. Gonna move out this one and move in this one. <laughs> so this is Diamine uh, Writer's Blood. This is the newest of the Reddit inks. And I absolutely adore it. I absolutely adore it. This is obviously the 80 milliliter bottle, um, but you can get the, I believe it's 30 mils, the small one. Uh, so you can definitely get that if you don't want the ginormous 80. Um, but to be fair, I mean, like I think I'm already down here. I will certainly <laughs> go through this bottle uh, because I like it quite a bit. And I have it in a very wet pen, 
which you can see here. Uh, as far as color accuracy goes, this one's actually fairly spot on. While this one certainly comes up cooler on the camera and is definitely more on the yellow side on the camera in real life, it's a little bit darker, a little bit more saturated. This is fairly accurate. Uh, I would say slightly darker in real life, but pretty darn close. Um, I have this in my custom 812, and by 812, I mean 912, custom 912 uh, pilot with the FA nib. I also have replaced the feed uh, with from the original plastic feed to an ebonite feed. So this is an absolute fire hose, like just madness how wet this is. <laughs> I misspelled that, but I'm going to roll with it. So this ink in this pen is sort of a black red. <laughs> um, it can be definitely more of a burgundy color when you have it in a um, drier writing pen, um, but for right now it is certainly a blacker writing experience. <laughs> Um, it also depends on the paper you're using on more satur or, um, on, on paper that like uh, soaks up the ink more. Uh, you will get a darker view where it's like on this, which is Tomoe River paper. Uh, you do see a little bit more of the shading. So you do see a little bit more red color. Um, but here I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, but uh, it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it is, like I said, a fire hose in this pen. It's super, super, super smooth. Uh, and you can really get some excellent line variation. What I appreciate about this pen, and I said in its review, is that I don't always like flex it to like flex it, um, but what I like is that it actually shows my mood and sometimes like everything's all nice and like la 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 and then other times like I'm mad and it comes out like, you know, crazy. So I really, really love this pen and with this ink, oh, top drawer, <laughs> absolutely top drawer. But this ink, I don't have the bottle of yet. So funny story with this one. This one was actually a sample. It says Noodler's Pecan. Um, I bought this sample a little while ago and then I was like, I think I actually have this sample already. So I went through and sure enough, I did. <laughs> I did. Um, I had two samples of this and I have gone through an entire sample vial and now this is my second and you can tell I'm almost done this second, which means I've done about how much do I have left here? I'll probably have about half a millimeter, millimeter, geez, milliliter in here, which means that I've used about three and a half milliliters of this ink. Uh, and to be fair, I could fill up my pen again. So I basically have gone through two vials, so four milliliters. Um, and I have purchased a full bottle of this ink. Uh, it just has not gotten to me yet. Um, so hopefully that comes soon. And I have it in the Pelican M205. And nope, M200. 205 is the silver trim. This is the Smoky Quartz. Uh, it is the like special edition one that came out a few years back. Um, but you can still buy it from Goulet Pens right now, I believe. Uh, so this is... Noodler's Pecan in M205. 
pen, this is a fine nib. Fun fact about Pelican, typically their pens are much, much broader uh, than they, you know, the typical Western pens are, but this one is actually a true fine. Uh, this is actually the finest Pelican I've ever had, including a extra fine that I've used before. Okay. I really like this pen quite a bit. It's one of the few pens that I actually post while using uh, because it is on the small side, it is on the light side, uh, but as you can tell, I mean, I really like brown inks and brown pens. Um, so I enjoy posting this one. Like I said, I have reviews of all of these if you want to see like the nitty gritty. Uh, what I like about this ink is that much like the Diamine Writer's Blood, Diamine Writer's Blood, uh, depending on what paper you're using, depending on what pen you're using, you'll get different qualities. Uh, as you can see up here, it's like almost like it's got like some black tones in it. Um, so when it comes out like a gusher, you definitely see more of that. Uh, but if it's not a gusher, like this one is not. Uh, like I said, this this pen does not follow most of Pelican's uh, super wetness, <laughs> um, but you'll get sort of like this lighter uh, orange here. Now I will say it is again, like Diamine, uh, decently accurate, the color. I would say it's like just a titch, 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 uh, more vibrant, um, more orange on camera in real life it is slightly warmer like slightly a, a little bit more red than the orange um, but it's fairly close i would say kwz honey definitely is the farthest off these two are decently close uh, so those are the three that i have been obsessed with this fall um, let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you guys have been obsessed with this fall because I think uh, being able to change your inks is really, really fun. Uh, and that's part of what I love about this hobby. So definitely hit up the comment section below while you're down there. I would love it if you would check out the description for the link to my Instagram and my Patreon account if you want to help support me and what I do here. Um, if you're still watching this far in, you are the reason that I make these videos and you're probably already subscribed to see the new videos that come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Guys, I appreciate you so, so, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, everybody, it's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So if you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weilei Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, DigitalTent.Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout-out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.